so I'll just give you the brief about the entire project so over we are having two folders the nature knowledge this particular folder consists of the entire work based on the front end HTML, C, uh, JS, uh, and CSS. And it also has the images in the front end. Then we have another folder called Venues. Inside Venue, we are having the entire backend code. And the backend code has been written and created in Java Spring Boot. This consists on the entire backend code which will be connected to the database and from that database it will be called and then it will be displayed and this information will go to the front end and then it will fetch it from there and then it will work and this is the database from which we are having all the data in the database folder we are having many entities which are these 12 locations that are there these are the names, the locations, contact information, description. From this database, we'll be fetching the details from, and then it will be shown in the front end. So now I'll open the venues folder in VS Code. And this is the entire uh, entire Java code. To run this, we need to open. Uh, uh, we just need to open SRC. Inside the SRC, we need to go main. Inside main, we need to go into resources, and then we need to uh, uh, application properties will be shown. In application properties. we need to give the port on which we need to run the java application backend code on this 9090 9095 code our java spring board backend will be running and it is running on our local system that is our local host so this is the port which we have to find after that we need to uh, we are just connecting to the sql light that database that we just showed you and we have just now given the driver in this after this we are having the url and we are just defining and then the entire path of the database where we have actually saved this database from where the backend code is being called and showed in the front end okay so this is the application of properties which is actually very important for connectivity Inside main Java folder, we will be having venues dot application dot Java. This is the main file where we can run the entire backend. So here you can see, see here you can see the Spring Boot framework, Spring Boot application, auto configure Spring Boot application, and Spring application and Spring Boot application, etc. Uh, and this is our main package, the venues that I just showed you. Over here we have uh, browsing put application. We will be running the our main class, which is menu venue dot application. With the help of this, our entire project will be running. This consists of the configuration file which we are having from which we need to fetch the database. Inside this particular config bag, we are having configuration of the database so here we will be fetching the driver class name and the url inside the controller folder we are having the venue control java file that is the main file from where we will be uh, uh, will be having the from which we'll be having the endpoint. Uh, we'll be having the endpoint of the entire application. So whenever we will be running the backend, this will be the endpoints on on which we will be mopping. 
on this particular front end, the front end will be able to fetch the data the venue and the venue endpoints will be defining our entire entire properties like where we need to fetch the data or we need to do the connection dot information or for we need to fetch from table all those things will be done from this endpoints this is where we'll be running our entire api with the help of this ap with this file we'll be running our api this will be fetching the details from this endpoints fetching the details from this particular endpoints in the domain uh, in location we will be we are using the getter and the setters to fetch the different location uh, over here we are having the venue.java file contains uh, information about about the details about the id name website location description description etc and we are also we are using the get and set method over here this is just for venues this file will just uh, get the details of the venues and just return it to the main class repository venue repository java file this is our main file from where we will be defining the sql such as what information which information which we are pulling from the database in our database we are having all those details with the help of this particular file will be pulling all those information and pass it to the specific endpoint from the front end code will be over here this is just the venues or application service file when you service dot java will just uh, is used for getting all the location and the value details like which we have just seen over here over here as well this file will be used this is all about java file so if you want to run uh, if you want to run this particular file, run uh, java and run it once i run it it will start and here we can see the uh, it will be running on the port 9095 and over here the front end initially it will we won't be working anything because it is not fetching any data from the back end but once we connect it and refresh it like this we'll get all the details all the details that are fetched from the back end and now it is displayed on the front end on the other side we are having this particular file called html that consists on the entire entire template related to the front end this contains the footer the header this is our main file like js code with the help of this .js file, we fetch all the information from the from the backend. So as our backend is running right now on localhost 9095, with the help of JS code, here we we fetch all the details like 9095, and then these are the endpoints we have also mentioned in Java before that we have defined venue and venues. these are just the mappings of the images with the, the name of the specific location after this as we are having 12 entries the values are stored inside database from this So here we'll just fetch all the data via backend. We'll fetch all the data what has been sent from the backend, and over here you can see that uh, the the value by location, value dot content information, website value dot description, value dot name. We'll just display all those things. 
so we are having it dynamic so we are just having it as value.name and all the information has been replied from the backend database and whatever is there it will display over here as a result we will be able to view all those locations here all the details are visible for example name the title the de the description the location etc and we can close it now and each and every information is fetched from the back uh, fresh uh, fresh uh, uh, to the front end via back end which is uh, connected to the database this is how our entire uh, this is how my entire web page will be working